In January earlier this year, James Osborne was found deceased here under Mini Bridge, and his family, Angie Osborne, his wife, and other family members have been looking for answers ever since and have no idea what's going on at this point other than what they've been given in the autopsy report. 10 o'clock, I got a knock on the door that the police asked me is who lived here, and I said, me and my husband, James Osborne. And they said, walk out to the car, and I thought it, he'd just, in the back seat, I didn't know what was going on. Then they showed me a picture on the thing that he was deceased, and I started getting sick. The last time Osborne saw her husband was at about 1 p.m. the day of his death. She knew the autopsy report would have to mean an investigation would be underway. The autopsy report told me that he was hit on the back of the head. The way they explained it, that he had his head under there, somebody sneaked up behind him and hit him in the back of the head. He already had a head injury six years ago, and Cardinal Hills always told us that if he got hit on the back of the head, he would die. At Audiology Associates of Prestonsburg, you can live your life the way you want and find the freedom of better hearing. With 40 years of being in the hearing care industry, you'll experience patient care that is specific to you with exceptional follow-up care that ensures your hearing and balance needs are being met. Audiology Associates at 1428 North Lake Drive in Prestonsburg. Teresa Bryant, Angie Osborne's sister, spent Thursday placing signs up around the area beneath the mini bridge. She's certain that someone had to have seen something significant, but are unwilling to share this with law enforcement. I think somebody knows something, or overheard something, or somebody knows something in this little community of many. Just tell us. I mean, if you don't want your name out, we won't say your name. Just tell us. The family is convinced that someone had to see something, so they're going to be on the lookout until they find what it is they're looking for. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Sheldon Compton.